Hi guys. Yep, it's me. It's Anne. I'm back. You can't get rid of me. I'm sorry. Unless you want to drop off of the the video watch. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you a little bit because I tried Dia & Co. Okay? They're cute. Dia & Co., in case you don't know, is a subscription service that helps you expand your wardrobe. Now, when they send you a box, there's normally five pieces in it. Could be anything from a couple of shirts, a couple of pairs of pants, a purse, maybe even a piece of jewelry. You get five days to try these on in the comfort of your own home. And anything you don't keep, you just send back. They send you a big envelope that you can just stuff everything in. It's prepaid. Um, they total up all the merchandise at the end. If you buy the whole box, you get 25% off the top. Now, the only reason that I did this trial box was because it was, in fact, a trial box. They had run a short... Um, time period where they were doing everything for free. You got the, the styling for free, which is normally what you send in when you order the box, which is between $10 and $20. I can't remember right offhand. If you buy stuff, the money you spent for the styling fee is automatically credited to whatever you buy. So, you know, even if you only buy one piece, like I got a purse in this batch that was 29 bucks if I decided to keep it. If I had paid the regular styling fee, they would have taken that off of that piece. Now, they send some really nice stuff. Some of it is a little high on the expense with, you know, from my perspective, but anybody who's paid any attention to my videos for a while knows that I live on a disability budget and puny. Yes, really puny. Um, but the clothes themselves were really very nice. Um, there was, like I said, the... the Cambridge Clutch. I've got still pictures that I'm going to be putting up of all the stuff. The Cambridge Clutch, gorgeous. Nice, deep tan, leather look thing with really nice gold studding. Very good stuff. I really liked it, but it was too small. I have a chronic illness issue. I carry lots of junk in my purse whenever I'm out, out and about. So this was just, it was just too small. Beautiful, but too small. It would have worked if I was doing like a lot of going to parties or if I was still working out in the W2 world where, you know, I'm carrying a briefcase or a laptop bag and a purse. Probably could have gotten away with it. Now, one of the things they sent was called the Carly Lattice Tea. The lattice, they had one of those cross piece things in the inset in the front. Cute. Charcoal gray. Nice color. It wasn't splotchy it was really good 2x right on size no problem except I have at one point I at one point I weighed 450 pounds 
pounds, okay? I am significantly smaller than that currently, but my arms still carry a lot of the bulk that came from the weight. And the Carly T has got a band about this deep at the bottom of the sleeve. And it was too tight. I couldn't get it up over my arm. And it was a real bummer because the, the, the Carly T is that really nice, almost silky feel t-shirt material. And it was like, the next thing that came in this box is called the Barb Ruffle Sleeveless Blouse. Now, I love the pattern for the fact that the pattern had blues and reds in it, and the two pair of pants they said had was blue and red. So, yeah, this was a great matchup. Except I wasn't real big on the floral pattern itself. It was kind of dull and dusty as opposed to like, you know. So bright. Um, the other problem was there was no stretch. Now granted this was a 2X, but it was a pullover with no stretch. And it was a two layer. So there was the chiffon design top piece, and then there was the black shell underneath it. The black shell was so tight when it came down to my belly that it immediately started doing the crawl thing. So, yeah, that, you know, if it had had a little more material or a little stretch, we'd have been okay this one it just but size dead on it was a 2x it really was if it didn't have that black shell under it the the little ruffle blouse ruffle sleeve blouse would have just been it just had the a little band of ruffles at the armhole very cute now, first pair of pants called the Bleaker Dye Skinny Jean. This was in a glorious burgundy. Beautiful color. I'm very short. I'm very short. I've got a 28 inch inseam. I short mommy. Um, these burgundy jeans would have done well on somebody with a 32 inch inseam. Yeah. Very well with a 32. I mean, we're talking like bags and rolls and rolls and bags. Now, the pants themselves, they're listed as a 22. And I'm going, oh, this is nice, thick fabric. It's gorgeous. The color is beautiful. And they've got this interesting thing with the styling of the, the pants where the back of the pants actually has kind of a curve at the top of the waistband because they give you more rise in the back of these pants so that it comes up. So if you've got the bodacious bootay, it will come up and cover. And I thought that was just delightful. Slid into them. It was perfect. You slide your legs in, comes right on up, none of this tugging and screaming and fussing and yelling. It was true to size A22. And it was beautiful. Until there was a lot of extra fabric 
in several places that did not look attractive. I, when I'm, sta when, if you've seen my thrift haul, yes, I look very heavy from the front because I've got a roll above the waist that tends to hold my clothes out away from the lower part of my body, which is actually relatively flat in comparison to that one roll. God, I need a body lift. Anyway, all of my weight from that front roll down tends to be carried in the trunk, okay? These had extra space in the front, which bagged a bit. And because of the way it bagged, now both of the pairs of pants did the same thing. Because of the way that front area bagged, it sagged down around the thighs some, which then made it look funny in the back of the leg under the bodacious boda. <laughs> which, you know, it just, on top of the fact that they were so long, it just was not working. Plus, it was a tad bit out of my budget structure. Um, now, a really good designer pair of jeans. You're doing good if you get find anything that's under a hundred bucks. The last I heard, I don't go looking for them. I shop at Walmart. Okay, um, these were sixty nine which is not a bad price if you think about it for a really nice heavyweight set of jeans. Especially with things like that detail with being able to do the higher rise in the back. I really was sad sending those back. The last piece was called the Madalena ankle pant. Now, if you have a pantsuit, you know the type of pants we're talking about. They're very structured. They've got the nice wide waistband on them. And, you know, it's got the hooks, the, the flat hooks at the top and the little button on the inside and the nice flat zipper. We had the same, a similar problem with the length. They weren't quite as bad as the, the jeans, but they were still too long. The other problem I had is that the blue pants tended to be kind of low rise now with low rise with no accommodation for the junk in the trunk i got that v thing going on where it pulls the waistband down in the back into kind of a v just over your backside and yeah you, the waistband if it had come up to the correct rise, I probably would have needed a belt, but there were no belt loops. Um, and again, I had that problem where the front had all this extra space for somebody who has the big, deep apron belly, and my apron is pretty well flat from all of the weight loss but everything's in the back you know party in the back yeah um so i got that baggy stuff around the top of the thighs again and it just it just didn't look right now i'm going to remind you this was my first attempt with one of these styling companies and Dia and Co. specializes in big girls. It's wonderful that you've got somebody who specializes in big girls. 
and my stylist, Nakira M, did a bang up job considering this was the first box first attempt which you got to understand is going to have notes that go back to the stylist that tells them where the problems were but all of the things that were sent other than the purse all of the things that were sent were dead on for size they went on without a struggle except for the places that we're talking about like with the 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 t-shirt i couldn't get my arm all the way in where it belonged the the other blouse the sleeveless blouse it went on just fine if that shell hadn't been so tight around my belly I might have considered that one am I going to try this again probably in a hurry not so much because the next one's not going to be free like this would I do another video if I try another one and things work out better oh yeah absolutely like I said, I'm going to put the still pictures in that we took to show you the the, the uh, clothes and the purse and all that. Now, this was a pricey little bit of a box. The merchandise totaled up. I didn't have the styling fee. Like I said, the styling fee was one of the things they took off for this trial piece but then there was the 25 the the 25 percent off and 25 percent took 61 dollars off of this so it wasn't nearly as bad as it smelled when i first looked at it um yeah i'm going to have to be really careful about when I buy, I have a certain amount of money and I get, you know, the payouts at particular times. But this is not bad considering they send it to your house. You've got your return envelope, which is a big plastic sack with all of the stuff already on it for the return. You've got your return envelope in the box. You don't have to wait for it. And you've got five days from receipt to try them on and see if they work for you. It's nice. Now, a few of the other services, if I understand correctly, have a little longer time, you know, like maybe 14 days or something. But five days is plenty unless you've got something going on and you can actually contact them and tell them to hold it if you've got something going on you know you it, it's like you can't do it if if it's within a couple of days of arrival because it's already going to be on the way but you can tell them when to send you don't have to take a box every month you don't have to take a box every whatever you can tell them when to send it if you know you've got some extra cash coming in and you want to buy some new clothes and maybe try something that's out of your usual comfort zone give them a try what could it hurt no i'm not sponsored no, I don't have an affiliate code. I don't even have a discount code. Like I said, this was my first encounter with them. They don't know me from Adam's house cat. Not at all. But it was worth a shot. I took a shot. I got to try on some nifty clothes. I got to see the kind of stuff they send. And... Yeah, if it had worked out better with the sizing, I'd have probably had me some new clothes for Christmas. Anyway, that's about enough for this. Have a lovely evening or 
a lovely morning whenever you're watching this. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, please do. If you subscribe, please click the little bell so that you get notification when I upload stuff. If you have a nice comment, go ahead and put it down there. If you have a rude comment, yeah, you can put it down there if you really just think you must. But rude comments, I'd rather you keep to yourselves, you know. Um, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. That lets me know if I should keep doing things like these clothing hauls and that kind of thing. And be good.